hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be reviewing this wipro smart plug so this is a home automation device this is used to switch on and off uh, your plug remotely so this works on 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi so this is not a bluetooth device it works on wi-fi so there are two variants in this one is this 10 ampere variant another one is 16 ampere variant so I, I used the 16 amp variant before briefly before I returned it so the problem with 16 amp variant is the plug you can only connect 16 amp devices so if you want to connect a lower amp devices to that it is just not possible I think that is a very bad design on part of Wipro so they should have given the option where you can connect two set of devices okay so coming to the box it's a very simple box so this device works with both amazon alexa and google assistant so as mentioned here you can use it via phone or voice set up you can set up schedules for it you can monitor energy consumption of device so this uh, feature is not available on majority let's say 99 percent of these uh, home automation devices so as of now as uh, as i know this is the only uh, device that offers this functionality so coming to mrp it says 3000 so that that's nuts so it is available on amazon close to 800 to 900 range depending upon when do you order so this product is made in people republic of china if you just want to know that so coming to the package there is just this smart plug and there is a small packaging inside So this is just a simple quick start guide how to connect the plug and all so the functionality wise uh, uh, the app and all it is fairly simple to use so there is not much and it is very user friendly uh, i'll show you the functionality and using of the app also in a second so i like this uh, minimal design of the box you know very eco-friendly so coming to the construction of the plug uh, the build quality is uh, very good there is some very good uh, plastic use and you can see the pl the plugs also have a stopper in between children cannot poke their fingers inside when it is connected and there is no plug being connected to this one uh, there is only one button here that is used to just switch on and off for pairing especially so coming to rating it is 250 volts and max uh, resistive rating is 10 amperes so the voltage is 2500 watts that's quite huge voltage uh, so you maybe you can run devices below 10 amps some air conditioners uh, run it some very small instant geysers also <laughs> have a 10 ampere rating uh, so check the rate ampere rating of your device and you can use this so coming to uh, uh, features wise uh, on the plug itself there are not many features so majority of the functionality is from the app itself so let us check how to pair this and use the app so first let's look into how to pair this device so once you connect into the outlet just switch it on So it's switched on so you will see a flashing light here so you need to install this uh, Wipro smart home app Wipro next smart app on your device and click on add device so it will ask what kind of it choose socket Wi-Fi so allow the location and you need to enter the So if the indicator is not blinking rapidly, you need to press and hold the switch for around 5 seconds and the indicator will start blinking. Then you can click on next. Just say the indicator is blinking. Confirm. Click on next. So it will start scanning for the device. So it has rejected the device and it is saying adding the device. So this initial step will take some time. see once it is connected I automatically got a message from Alexa because I connected it before so coming to the different features
so this Wipro app is actually very good and very user friendly so we, uh, let's look into the different options that are available on the app so one is the home page where you can see different uh, devices that are connected so there are option to add multiple devices if you are having any of these the next is the smart scenarios uh, you can add multiple devices and you can add an automation scene so when the weather changes or do you want to set a particular task maybe if every night 10 o'clock you want to switch off the plug you can do that or else when the device function changes and some of them will be applicable to uh, different devices and not all might be applicable to your device so this tap to run is like you need to tap and this will run and automation is like uh, the task will run automatically without any intervention from from us okay you can also check logs here if there are any logs okay and then you can also see user profile here and you can see different settings here okay, coming to the home button once you click on the device uh, this is where you can see different options here you can also turn on and off the plug from using this option here power on and off let me show you see the device is off the device is on apart from this feature you can actually uh, rename the device you can change the icon you can choose your own icon you can add it uh, address for this device I mean which room is it you can add some rooms there and see there is also an option called third party control you have Alexa here see order linked with Amazon Alexa you also have Google Assistant and you can also see the option for uh, uh, updating the firmware of the device so there is another option to add a timer how much time of time you want to add for a timer or when do you want to repeat do you want to repeat on this particular date date in a week and second is the countdown so this timer is it will add uh, just a schedule so what to do at this time you can add another schedule what to do at that time is if you want to power it off a particular time if you want to power it on a particular time you want to change the schedule for a different days in a week you can uh, can actually do that as i told before one major usb for this particular smart device is it has electric consumption data so if you see here so it will show you the current uh, current being drawn in ma and what is the power i mean what is the wattage that is being consumed current voltage and total kilowatt hour still date these are the units in general sense so if you click on this below i mean in september this is my daily usage so on 7th it's like 0.56 on 10th it's like 1.17 and some other days is like 1.18 so you can also know the different uh, power usages on different dates so none of the other brands of uh, smart switches that are available right now have this feature only the Wipro plug has this feature uh, this feature is helpful if you really want to find out uh, how much power you are using for any particular thing and all so as of now connectivity wise I did not face any kind of connectivity issues to the most extent the connectivity works just fine you can also check the uh, device network how is the device how is the connection status how is the device signal strength however uh, don't expect the device to function if there are too many walls between the router and the device you need to understand that these devices don't really have a very very strong antennas so they are fairly weak antennas so unless you have the device in close proximity to the router it might throw you a warning saying that the device uh, Wi-Fi connection is too weak or something like that so that is something you have to keep into mind so make sure you use the device when there are not many obstructions in between coming to Amazon Alexa uh, first thing is you need to install a skill so the skill is called Wipro Next Smart Home 
so once you sign into the app and you install the skill the skill itself will automatically connect the device to Amazon Alexa so if you look at devices say one plug discovered see Wipro plug you can power on and off or you can just say Alexa turn off Wipro plug it will switch it off so the response time between you you're saying and the device functioning is like a rather very fast Alexa turn off Wipro plug see so some brands don't have this fast operation between the command and the execution Alexa turn on Wipro plug see immediate it's, it's super quick so trust me guys I use another brands uh, like Oatcar and all so there is some delay between your command and when it is executed so that you don't have it here so it's it's rather fast so coming to working using the device with Google Assistant so go to your assistant app um, go to settings click on your user profile I'm sorry it's not settings so go to assistant you can see something called home control here go to home control and you can actually search here saying Wipro so it says Wipro next smart home wait for it it is asking you to log in again click on authorize done you can assign what kind of uh, room let's say it's my living room done see turn off Wipro plug see simple so you can either click here or you can simply say turn on Wipro plug so it works so the integration is very fast in this and the device works uh, without much delay between your command and what you say coming to the negative points is uh, it's only that it is a bit the price is on an expensive side because spending almost 800 to 900 on a small single plug doesn't make any sense so if you if you get an offer if you find for a lower price so please go ahead and purchase it especially if you are into automation kind of things and home or home automation kind of thing so it makes sense it works very well the build quality is fine there is no issues uh, it doesn't uh, consume too much idle brain the idle train the connectivity is fairly decent doesn't disconnect uh, I, I put it in a place where there are a lot of walls and obstructions between the router and the device still the device fairly works better so this is my review thanks for watching